Exactly. I looked right at the camera. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Action. Why does it say? I don't like this at all. Tell me what Teddy is. Like the, the actual creature? No. Or the, the short? Again, the short or the... The, <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the short. And action. I can never get that. <laughs> I'm always trying to be professional, guys. Action. Whenever right. you want, you know. <laughs> so Teddy was an idea that I came up with about three or four years ago. Teddy is a short film about two friends who, after discovering a alien being, have to decide what to do with it. It's just a sad, sad story of a man named John who's never going to get out of it. Okay. It's a creature, Nate, not a fucking dog. And it blossomed into the script that I wrote and then sent it to Christian. And then he's like, that was cool. And then forgot about it for three years. And then him and Brian are like, let's make stuff. And I'm like, oh, you mean the script I sent you three years ago? And they're like, yeah, that's a great idea. Let's do that. Good idea, Cody. And then we, uh, we went and made the thing. And it was, uh, it was a great time. Generally, when I read the script three years ago, I, I literally thought, there's no way we can shoot this. And that was at a time where we had zero equipment. It, it, it seemed impossible to do. When I read the script that I wanted to play one of the people, because like I'm not an actor, but it is fun to act, so I was like, oh, like, hopefully I get to like play one of these people. It was simple enough where it's just like two people talking. Look, for once, can you just think about this? We've done the horror thing, now we've dipped into a little bit of sci-fi and thriller. One of the first scripts, or at least short films that we've done, that was actual dialogue between two characters, like full-on scenes going back and forth. And that was a lot of fun to explore with and shoot in the different ways that we can shoot that. I think this is where you're heading. Feels, feels weird being out here, all right. Because yeah. I'm, I'm worried about the phone. All right. And yeah, and then feel free to if, worry about the first line here and then the second line here. Okay. Don't worry about so much about the... Because we, we can all cut, okay. Always, feels weird yeah. being out here again. Mm -hmm. Uh, shooting Teddy was a lot of fun. It felt like one of the more bigger productions that I think we've ever done. We got the gang together. We drove out to the crazy deserts of Santa Clarita, California. And then we got Del Taco before the shoot, which is like the best pre-production food to go into a production, especially because we were shooting in a isolated place that had no bathroom, so I had to hold my shit the whole time. Oh, beautiful. Wait, can I see the, can I see the iPad? We found a nice little patch out in the in front of a park or some shit. It was 420. There was a lot of kids going up that hill, wanting to go out to some haunted house. It was a little scary out there. We almost said the cops called on us like three times. You guys open the gate again? I'm gonna call the police. Uh, we, we didn't, didn't open, open it. it. We didn't open it. No, no, we have no, no idea. Yeah. Apparently, they blame us for opening the gates. Oh, we've been here the whole time. Yeah. Sorry. So we shot it on 420, which wasn't great when you're trying to shoot a short film in a nice little desert area where people just want to get high. Uh. Christ. Okay. Like if, if it wasn't that whole 420 and stoners getting high, it would have just been us by ourselves and we would have shot that like cleanly. But it was, a, I mean, I did it in high school too. I chased ghosts and all that. I just keep thinking about the cops that were almost called on us and the, whoever, the lady, the, the crazy lady who was very angry at us, it was, other than those things, I would say it was fun. Someone died too, but it was, it was a fun time. We shot a fun short film and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. Yeah, it was incredibly cold, but I mean, I wore a sweater the whole time and I had a beanie, so I wasn't really that cold. I, I think the guys may have gotten, Brian, did you get sick? No. Brian didn't get sick. Cody, did you get sick? Yeah. Cody got sick, but you know, hey, fuck it, you're acting. That's what you gotta do. So Brian's character was uh, conveniently uh, clothed in a jacket 
um, which was funny because I didn't ride him with a jacket or anything like that, but Brian had a jacket on. Uh, I didn't because I cared about my, my role and I was freezing out there. It was very cold that night. Uh, you can see me on a, on a few of the takes like up to the line where I say like, by asking, you can see me hopping around. That's not a character quirk, that's me fucking freezing. But we stayed warm by the passion of uh, creativity and, and friendship. All right. <laughs> We good? Okay, we weren't through it, we got through it. Kind of, I think I've missed, skipped a line or two. The biggest challenge of the short film was obviously doing the, uh, the hole in the chest, uh, which is something that I didn't really have much in the actual work of, so <laughs> that's not really my problem. For Brian's death, spoilers, uh, we, we tested that out just a little bit. I just literally looked up a bunch of tutorials on YouTube and how to do it. But I'd say it took the most uh, creative thinking. We, I, I kind of wrote that in the script that way, thinking we wouldn't actually be able to pull that off. Prepping for that was a lot of fun because uh, I just looked up just to get like a green paper and then get some fake blood and put it around. By the power of Mr. Christian and our buddy Tommy, Terry Green pulled off the effect and it looked really cool. Uh oh. What happened to the shirt? I'm a little stuck. Besides the, the hole in the chest effect, I would say the thing from the script that I was most proud of that we were able to capture was the Teddy vision. Basically just the, the fish eye type predator type color thing that we had going on. That, it, it pretty much turned out exactly how I envisioned it in the script and that was, that was really refreshing to see. I was really relieved just to know that it didn't look ridiculous. This is like a few point and it's just kind of back up a little bit. Yeah. And three, two, one. <laughs> Woo! It looked good from over here. For Teddy's vision, we were originally going to use like a GoPro and on like a little handheld stick and just kind of move it around. We ended up just using one of our cameras and then testing out those effects and seeing how we would play that out. I think we went through a couple different variations, especially when you see it through the cage is really, really fucking cool. And, and just the way it, it shifts its vision in general, we're building a character around a tiny little thing without really developing a whole lot of information. It's just tiny little things that you can pick up on and that's just pretty fucking cool. Fuck, that looks... That's yeah. a good shot. That's shit. Oh. I really don't even think you need to shoot anymore. <laughs> yeah. You just and ended on that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're a jungle. So our friend Alex did the score for Teddy and that was another really, really great experience. Working with Alex on the music was awesome, man. Like he came in with his big ass piano and he like played the music live and it, it was so cool. You were literally watching him orchestrate. Yeah, orchestrate, that makes sense because they're making music. Just pay us to be quiet. Yeah, they paid us a lot of money. Mm -hmm. uh, it might be a little bit. <laughs> 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 like, oh! oh yeah. Hey, I'm Alex Marzonia, also known as Marzonia. Um, I am the composer for the score of Teddy. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. It was my first time ever doing a score. Cody sent me a bunch of links for like uh, inspiration from like Blade Runner 2049. Super 8 was another one he sent me. I try to listen to a lot of other sci-fi scores and just kind of get that kind of feel, kind of mysterious vibe of it and uh, plug that into the, uh, the themes that I wrote for it. Alex is crazy. Yeah, he's great. Like I asked Cody, like, how does he do it? Cause like, there's like all these like orchestral sounds. There's the piano, obviously he's like, he played, he did the whole thing on like a keyboard. Playing around with melodies and stuff. Um, I, I like to just play a lot of different things. Just like kind of fool around on a piano, guitar, whatever. And whatever sticks, roll with that. See what goes best with the short film itself. That worked perfectly there. Like it picks up as soon as I start spinning the wheel. It made the process even more because I love scores, I love soundtracks in movies and film in general and television. And so coming up with the inspirations, so hearing Cody's inspiration and mine, sending that all to Alex and for him to compile that into something with his own creative thoughts was really, really amazing. I uh, actually watched him orchestrate the actual soundtrack live and it was so cool. Like he would hit a note live and we'd all like kind of look at each other like, oh. Oh, that was cool, that was cool. And they're like, do that, do that. And he'd write it down as a little thing. It was one of my favorite nights of the whole editing post-production thing was just making music with Alex. Pretty great that he's able to just like watch it and then come up with something on the fly and then like tweak it later and finalize it later. It was fun coming here and uh, working with you guys just to see how you guys work as well. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. And especially like the night on the set too, like I was helping out as a production assistant as well. It's a lot of fun just filming behind the scenes stuff, seeing how you guys work is really inspiring. I also accidentally drank his beer 
while we were shooting that. It was on the table, I thought it was mine, I drank it. It's just a fun little tidbit. But hey, you know, maybe I gave something to him. A good thing. So what's up? Can I ask your phone anymore? I'd say my favorite moment from the whole thing, there was a few times while we were shooting that main night where I was just... <laughs> Sorry. What? You just had like an accent right now. No, I didn't. They did. A few times. A few times in the main night. All right. Play that back. Let's see about an accent. There was a few times while we were... There was a few times while we were... There was a few times while we were... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ready? Yeah, these fucking actors, man. D. Buzz. Yeah. Cody, why don't you call action? Real? Yep. Wait for fucking... Let's get him to chew his fucking yeah. thing here. I'm good. We are good. I think my favorite moment about the whole experience, it's its always a toss up because I love shooting, but I also do love the post-production work. My favorite moments from the shoot were in, in particular, there's a couple moments where I was on the ground and I was just like looking up at everything that we were doing and how crazy it was that we're all making this insane short film out in the desert. And I was just, I was just so happy in that moment. I was like, guys, we're making movies. Why are you doing this? Why do you have to make everything so goddamn difficult? Stop it! Oh. Fucking look at yourself! Fucking hey, God, oh, God damn it, that was... <laughs> I think yeah. we can cut on that. Yeah? Yeah. The, the gun, the gunshot was the, the, my favorite. Cause we practiced that scene at Remsen's house and I knew I wasn't gonna go full force cause like it's yelling and we were like table reading it at his apartment or condo. John. Shut up! I'm done! I'm just done. And I don't want to be like, shut up, like in front of everybody. But I knew like once I got there, I'll just like let it go and let it go all out. And like to be able to like release that was pretty fun. Okay. Uh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> I think the screen is, is fine. <laughs> that, that'll do. Is that too loud? No, no, no that was fucking uh, perfect. perfect. Yeah, that was, that was good. Yeah. But I love sending out a cut. As terrible as it is, the very first cut, because that's the first time we all see it, and we realize, oh shit, this sucks. But then we realize it's the very first cut, and there's a long way to go. So that's always um, the beginning of that excitement. <laughs> that looked great. Yeah, that looked really great. <laughs> My biggest moment that I had as a director, if you want to call it that, it was around like 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning, and the morale was a little bit down. We are falling a little bit behind schedule, and I could tell that like RB3, Alex, maybe the Ramsey were just getting a little frustrated, and I just started dancing. So <laughs> Uh, How it really happened. It's all just in a fight. It's been a while. It's been a while. You'll be out here again. I don't remember what it was. There was no music playing. I was just jumping around, dancing. Got a chuckle out of RB3. And when RB3 laughs, everybody else laughs. And I think it kind of eased the moment there. And we got back on track. And we were excited to make movies again. You're like, like, back. And then you're going to fall and like, grab him by the shoulder. Uh, just like, throw him to the ground. Swim move him? Yeah. Keep in mind, I am very light, so yeah. Can, actually fall. <laughs> can we do a there. shot where he just grabs you and just <laughs> you up and then get a shot and then get a shot of the feet dangling? Yeah. I think this thing turned out great. Um, it's my favorite that we've done so far. I know we said that after the runner and all the shit, but I, I think this is this is a really fun. I'm a little biased because this was kind of my baby. I'm just really relieved that it came out great. In all honesty, I, I think all aspects of it were good except for me and Brian's shitty performances, but... I think it was good. I think just like Cody said, my performance was terrible. I get it, Cody. The effects were all cool. I liked how the story came out on screen. I loved the music and I just... It's more relief than anything and I'm excited for people to see it. Like this is our only our second thing. I think as far as like serious things with scripts, this is our first or second? Because the runner didn't really have like a dialogue. It was just like monologue. So this is our first like dialogue scene. If we continue to do this, we could get better and we could like evolve into like actual actors who like seem like they're believable because all the other dialogue stuff like we've done is comedy stuff which is like just us being goofy but like if we want to like make it seem like we're in a real situation we have to work on that and i forgot the question <laughs> that's the end of it <laughs> <laughs> teddy scene five take nine <laughs> Otherwise, I'm making fucking sense. I'm glad I got that. Is that it or no? I thought you were going to cry on that. I can't, man. That's good. Yeah, we can cut that.